let's now proceed with computer organization. Regardless of differences in physical appearance of our computers, virtually every computer may be imagined divided into six logical units or sections. First, we have input unit, second, output unit, third, memory unit, four, arithmetic and logic unit, or the ALU, fifth, is the central processing unit or the CPU, and lastly, secondary storage unit. The input unit is considered the receiving section, wherein it obtains data and instruction from input devices such as our keyboard and mouse. These data may include the name of a person, a scanned barcode of a product, or even a voice record that will be processed or that can be processed by a computer. So any data that was captured by input devices is done in this section, the input unit. The next unit is the output unit. This is considered the shipping section. Once the data, or what we call the input, is already processed, it is now ready to be shipped or to be given back to the user as processed data or information. Raw data, which serves as our input, once processed, by the computer now becomes a process data or information and is now considered as our output. It may either be displayed on the screen, the monitor screen, it may be printed on paper, or it can be played on audio players or used to control other devices. Another unit is the memory unit. This rapid access, relatively low capacity warehouse section retains data that has been entered through the input unit, making it immediately available for processing when needed. So once the data is captured from the input unit, where will it go? It will now be stored in a memory. This is the, the work of the memory unit. It will be retained until such time that it will be processed later on. The memory unit is often called either memory or primary memory. It is a short-term memory, meaning the data here will not last. So take for example, if you turn off the computer, the data stored in the memory unit is gone. Unlike with the secondary storage unit, which will retain the data. So that sums up the topic computer organization.